Right, we're back again with the S7 Slim. Seven inch capacitive screen, 480 by 800 pixel resolution, 3.5 millimeter audio port on it, Bluetooth, GPS, HDMI out, micro SD, a 3.1 megapixel camera on the back there, and a one gigahertz CPU. Uh, you may or may not be able to see on this screen, we've got an Android 2.2.2, running on it just wanted to show you a bit more of the interface here's the um, interface that they put on it it's been a year since we saw this last it's uh, launched or we first saw it at uh, mobile world congress in 2011 We've got a few widgets on there obviously we can go down to our um, apps down here and we can drag and drop the apps wherever we want on the main screen we can have a go on cut the rope for example here um, the only thing I've found so far with the, the S7 Slim is the power buttons right up here and I've, I find it sometimes a little difficult to locate. But other than that, uh, it's, it's just really the dimensions of the device uh, can be a bit sort of uh, different. You might be able to see here it's, it's sort of a one-handed device. It's very, um, very thin when you're holding it that way. Obviously, cut the rope doesn't want to work on here. We seem to have freaked it out. There we go. But uh, we'll just go back. Oh no, here we go. Play. My son's much better at this than I am. Yeah, it uh, plays games rather well. There we go. Let's cut the rope in action. We've got the Android Market on here, so it's got the full Google experience. And we've got this tabbed sort of interface down here. So we've got, let's see if we can get the screen on properly. Um, we've got web, and you can see all the web related stuff. Uh, entertainment, because it doesn't stop me dragging, say, camera into the web section and totally screwing things up. So, oh no, I've got camera in the web section now. Uh, communications, so you can put your email sort of things in here, in your calendar maybe. Your favourites can be on one window like this. We've got a file manager so we can have a look uh, what's in this uh, sort of storage. Obviously this cable that keeps waving around in front of the um, camera here is uh, letting me open up the storage and view it on my PC. So. That's a quick look around the interface. Obviously loads of apps on here that I've put on here myself and some extra ones, Angry Birds and stuff like that. Gmail, everything syncs up with the Google Cloud as you would expect this being a Google um, device, Android device should I say. Uh, we've got the weather app, we've got YouTube, you can watch YouTube videos on here, they play rather well. The, interf the tablet itself is a very nice slim tablet, I must say, it's very nice. The only thing is the dimensions of it, I think that's the... Uh, the key here it's a bit like the uh, Galaxy Note uh, it's whether you can survive with such a thin device uh, in in this form factor but um, other than that I'm very impressed with it it's a very good uh, tablet for the money uh, I know that Clove were recently selling this um, for 145 pounds around that without the VAT which it works out to about 174 pounds uh, so yeah, it's, it's getting quite cheap and uh, the Wi-Fi only model is also looking at about £154. Good job I showed you before the battery went flat. <laughs>